premiere of the second-generation Cadillac SRX took place in 2009, and in 2010 the model appeared on the Russian market. Unlike its predecessor of the first generation, the car took a huge step towards the European consumer, which was reflected both in appearance and in the technical part. In particular, the suspension settings were changed, the body silhouette was made more lean, and the V8 configuration units were removed from the engine range. In Russia, SRX has not gained much popularity due to strong competition and brand specificity. At the same time, paradoxically, it was the specificity, uniqueness of style and characteristics that caused the purchase of those few copies that were sold on the territory of our motherland. However, as we all know, buying a car is half the battle, because then regular maintenance, repairs, and other components of the everyday life of a motorist will follow. So. We want to say right away that our today's Ward also excelled in this part. His motto, if you want to be unique, be unique in everything, left its mark on the statistics and features of breakdowns. Special attention deserves the fact that most of the faults relate to instances of the first years of production. After the restyling, announced in 2012, many of the problems described above have been eliminated. As noted above, the second generation SRX was left without the iconic V8. Nevertheless, the Americans have not yet rolled down to the inline European force with countless turbines. They chose a compromise, they offered the buyer two V6 engines, 3.0, 269 horsepower, 249 horsepower after restyling, and 3.6, 318 horsepower. In addition to a good appetite, which is 17 L-100 kilometers in the city for a weaker modification and 23 L-100 kilometers for a more powerful one, power units were distinguished by low mileage before changing the oil, 5 to 7,000 kilometers. Moreover, the need to replace the lubricating fluid was reported by the onboard computer, helpfully measuring its residual service life in percent. By 100,000 kilometers, both engines may require replacement of the high-pressure fuel pump, indicating this by uneven operation and the corresponding icon on the instrument panel. For conscientious owners, we recommend cleaning the throttle valve every 25,000 kilometers, the contamination of which can lead to increased fuel consumption. After all, although the SRX is able to digest the AI-92, an extra couple of liters of gasoline per 100 km of track is unlikely to please anyone. Unlike most representatives of crossovers, the Cadillac SRX was equipped with not one, but two all-wheel drive electronic clutches at once. The first, Haldex 4 connected the rear axle, and the second, distributed the torque already between the axle shafts. Such technical refinements simply could not but affect the reliability. And the Russian frost quickly proved it. At an ambient temperature of about minus 25 degrees Celsius, the inscription, service. Rear axle, indicating that the car has turned into a passenger car with high ground clearance. The solution to this problem, as a rule, lies in flashing the node. Such a procedure was occasionally prescribed for a six-speed automatic transmission with excessively twitchy switching. However, in most cases, the automatic did not bother anyone, and minor flaws in his work disappeared after a change in driving style. In the transmission, the propeller shaft outboard bearing became the main source of problems. With a run of about 60,000 kilometers, it became a source of acoustic discomfort and increased vibrations. Everything would be fine but this part is only supplied complete with the card and shaft. However, there is also good news. GM issued a service bulletin on this issue and replaced the entire assembly under warranty. The brake system serves as a source of regular cash investments. At least once every 25,000 kilometers, it is necessary to replace the front brake pads and prove the brake discs, which suffer from an excessive tendency to deformation, leading to the appearance of a beating. In the chassis, the weak link is the stabilizer bushings, the service life of which was no more than 20,000 kilometers. But these are trifles, otherwise the suspension did not cause any serious systematic complaints, although it uses magnetic damping elements. As for the steering, Russian frosts again make themselves felt, due to which the power steering hose flew off. It is not difficult to guess that the death of the amplifier pump often became the consequence of such an incident. On the move, this was manifested by a sharp appearance of heaviness on the steering wheel, which also did not bode well for a weak driver. But where the storehouse of problems for the owner of the Cadillac SRX is buried, it is in electronics. The most common malfunction was the failure of the auto-run system. After activating it, the car started, 
worked for a couple of minutes, then stalled. At the same time, the alarm siren started to work. This problem is one of those that surfaced with the onset of frost. At first, the issue was resolved by uninstalling the fuse for the rear broken glass sensors, then the necessary firmware appeared in the services. Continuing the theme of the winter adventures of Cadillac SRX owners, we can recall cases of seat heating failure and excessive noise from the heater motor. The battery, which quickly loses its charge at low temperatures, did not remain in the shade, as a result of which the car refused to start after a couple of days of inactivity on the street. And in general, the service life of this element did not always exceed a modest one and a half years. Further on the list of problems in terms of electronics are tire pressure sensors suffering from glitches and the button for opening the fifth door dying from moisture ingress. The multimedia system enjoys a special love for connoisseurs of the American crossover. By and large, this device lives its own life. He himself decides which interface language suits him best, which tune is better to play now, when to push the central monitor into the instrument panel, etc. By the way, the monitors in the rear headrests sometimes refuse to show anything at all. There is no single recipe for all ailments. Someone helped to throw off the terminals from the battery and put them on again, and someone was saved by the warranty replacement of the entire assembly. Few will argue that one of the main advantages of the Cadillac SRX is its appearance. But even here, not everything is so smooth, despite the rather high-quality paintwork. The fact is that a lot of chrome elements, with which the interior of the car is decorated, began to peel off and at low runs. First of all, 20-inch rims installed on the most expensive versions were subject to this phenomenon. Everything would be fine, but not all owners managed to fix defects under warranty. In terms of aesthetics of the interior, things are much better, although cases of premature wear of the leather upholstery are still known. But in such cases, the dealer, as a rule, went to the meeting. Despite the solid statistics of breakdowns, the answer to this question will not be unambiguous, since buying a second-generation Cadillac SRX will partly resemble roulette. After all, if you believe the reviews of the owners of this car, then someone got a real problem on wheels, and someone got a faithful and reliable friend. One way or another, you can either want this car or not, because buying this car still does not look like a pragmatic decision, this is the call of the heart.